Hi, I'm James from Val White Marine. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to clean out the weed filter on a Seamaster 813. This is a really important part of the boat, um, really important. This thing here is your weed filter, okay? And I talked a little while ago about cooling water getting sucked in around the engine and pumped out so that you don't get any weed and stuff going in through the cooling system. There is a filter to get rid of all that. So it's vital that that is also checked on a regular basis, okay? Because it could prevent say, easy water flow and it can prevent, it's one of the first things that makes your engine overheat and it's actually probably one of the most common things we have problems with. And you want this to be airtight and watertight, otherwise the pump won't work properly. So it's all quite important, okay? So then the first thing to do is to turn the seacock off, okay? So um, just down there, there is a red tap, a bit like you'd see at home. Before you're gonna check and empty this, you want to just reach in and turn that that's off, which it is. Okay, it goes in a conventional way. Um, righty tighty, lefty loosey, if you want any reminders. Um, and if you just undo these little wing nuts, okay, and then slide that cover back, the, you don't need to completely get them off. Inside, you will see that little filter. If you just lift that out very, very carefully, um, you'll see on this occasion, to be honest, it's pretty clear. What I tend to do is to have a little bucket in here with some fresh water in it. Then rather than take this filter outside and risk dumping it in the river, you can just um, rinse that out in your bucket, get all the gunk out of it, which I'm actually gonna do now. There's not much in there, but it's a little bit. And in a second, um, I'm gonna show you how to put it all back together. I've rinsed that out and um, popped it back in. It just make sure it sits in flush, okay? That, that you've got a flush fit over the top. It does take a little bit of joggling about to get that in. I can't tell you how important this is. So you've got that rubber seal around there, okay? The washers and the nuts. And it's really important just to be very careful every time you do this. Um, that I'm trying to do it one handed because I'm also trying to film at the same time, so bear with. Okay, so that feels good. Um, so then you want to tighten those wing nuts down that I don't obviously over tighten it because then you're never going to get it undone but okay they're done now it's really important as well when you finish that to make sure that you reach down and undo your seacock again if you don't you're not going to have any water flowing through and cooling the engine the worst thing that will happen if you forget to close that when you want to empty the weed filter is that as you start to do the um and take, take the lid off, um, the water will start flowing in. So I'll just be a quick reminder, so you just quickly clamp down the little wing nuts, turn the seacock off, and then take it off and try again and you'll be absolutely fine. There are ways of checking that you've done that properly, two ways actually. Uh, one is um, when you turn the seacock back on, as I've done now, there's no water weeping around the lid. If, if you hadn't got it all put back together properly, it would probably be weeping a little bit, be a few drips of water down there. The drips that you can see are where I've just been faffing about taking the filter out. To make sure the seacock is on and everything is working properly, as soon as you start the engine of the boat, and this is best practice whenever you start the engine of the boat, go and look at the exhaust and make sure there's water pumping through, and that will ensure that the cooling system's working as it should be.